Greetings sports aficionados and curious minds alike. Today, we delve into the intriguing world of cycle ball. A sport that combines the agility of cycling with the strategy of football, creating a spectacle unlike any other. Our journey starts in the early 20th century. Picture this. The year is 1909. In the heart of Europe, in the bustling city of Leipzig, Germany, two brothers, Wilhelm and Richard Schleier, conceived the idea of cycle ball. Inspired by their passion for cycling and football, they sought to create a sport that would blend these two worlds seamlessly. Cycle ball quickly gained momentum, spreading across Europe like wildfire. By the 1920s it was a mainstay in countries like Austria, Switzerland and the Czech Republic. The sport's popularity continued to surge in the following decades, with the formation of the International Cycle Ball Commission in 1948. Fast forward to the 21st century, and cycle ball has evolved into a global phenomenon. It's played in cities across the world, from Tokyo in the east to Toronto in the west. Europe remains the epicenter of cycle ball, with Prague, Zurich, and Vienna boasting the largest number of participants. Now hold that thought, how about showing some love for this channel? If you're enjoying this journey through the history of cycle ball, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And now, back to our story. Each year, cycle ball enthusiasts look forward to the annual Cycle Ball World Cup, the pinnacle of international cycle ball competition. It's a stage graced by the sport's greatest talents, from Swiss maestro Peter Jiracek to German legend Stefan Sam. Diving into the cycle ball business, it's a world of opportunities, but not without its challenges. The sport's niche status offers potential for growth, yet it grapples with issues like limited mainstream exposure and the high cost of equipment. In the United States, cycle ball is gradually gaining a foothold. It's played in cities like Portland, Oregon and Austin, Texas where cycling culture thrives. The rules of the game? Imagine a game of football but with players on bicycles. Two teams of two players each, a ball, and two goals. The aim? To score as many goals as possible using only the wheels of their bikes. So, there you have it, a whirlwind tour through the history of cycle ball, a sport that continues to captivate audiences with its unique blend of cycling and football. If you're intrigued, why not give it a try, or better yet, share this video to spread the word about this fascinating sport. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that like button. Your support helps us bring more intriguing stories from the wide world of sports to your screens. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep being awesome.